Okay, this time we're going to be going through how to search and export some video in Security Center. So we're going to start off in the monitoring section, which is where you're typically used to doing things, I'm sure. And we can go right to the, the warehouse, let's say. <clears throat> so here's live video of the warehouse. It's a, it's a nighttime mode here. Um, we can go right to a specific time by clicking the clock. I can then pull this into frame so you can see it. <coughs> Click November. Now I know on the 30th I was here around that time. And look, there I am. And there's my son. All right. So with that, <coughs> I found the video I want. I happen to know where I wanted to go. So I can click export, go right to the desktop, click here, click on desktop, okay. Um, ASF is a typical format you can play with any video player. Um, and G64 is gonna be a format that's encrypted into a database format for court submissions, stuff like that. ASF is gonna be fine for most of your, your things you want. You can display the date and time on the video. Um, if there's audio, most of the cameras are not going to have audio. Delete uh, this. Yes, it's just a temp file created. Yes, you need to delete that in the meantime. Um, this is the camera you can export all sources. Um, this is if you have multiple archivers. Um, most of you, I'm going to assume, do not have that. You're going to pick the time and the end date. If you notice right here, this is going to be a length of 59 minutes and 59 seconds. Well. Right there. Now we don't want that. Uh, in reality, we don't even want from here. We want it from I think uh, say 44 to 45 to zero. So there, length of one minute. I'm gonna click export. Look, no video. So I was off in my time. So let's go back here. Look. Uh, let's scroll in here. Really, what I'm icing is 12:47. So what I did here was scrolled in with my thumbnail and I picked, I'm using my right click and I'm dragging this as my in point, and I'm dragging this as my out point, and I'll say this. I hit the space bar which then pulled this up, it should be the same as if you click this. And then these are automatically filled in with the correct length, seven seconds, export. Successful. Close. So what I'm going to do is pull this in so you can see it. There's the folder it made. There's the folder with the video in it. And there's a trash can rolling through. So that's how that's exported, and you can just email that file to somebody, depending how big it is, or put it into a, a transferbigfiles.com, or put it into a Dropbox, or something like that, and then send people links. Um, the second way is going to be very similar. That's going to be coming in through archives. And through here, you just pick it differently. So you know, come in here, so I wanted to lose the warehouse, pick the time range, or you can come in here and pick it just a certain day, whatever you want to do. Uh, you know, I know what time I want to come in on this day, this day. In reality, it's to 10 a.m. So I'm just hitting A there. Then 1 00 p.m. And then just click generate report for me to see from 10 a.m. to 10 1 p.m on that day, where's their video? So, there's some video there. And suppose there's some video down here. No, that just didn't, I can scroll in, scroll out, and come down here. That's the 12th. 
12 o'clock. See, this is actually playing. There's nothing going on there right then. So what we can do again is hit the export video from all tiles, selected tiles. That's because I have more than one video window open. But if I come over here and just hit E, I can then just hit export 10. I can export the whole thing. It's three hours if you really wanted to. But again, it's the same exact video area, same exact way, exporting and saving and doing everything. So that's how you search and find stuff. There is a third way of doing it that our cameras don't support here at the demo facility uh, in our office uh, because we don't have access cameras and they're not integrated correctly. But you can do a motion search. So I'll show you how to do it, but you, we won't see any results. Um, so I can come into the warehouse, go to the warehouse. I can go absolute on that day from 10 a.m. to 11.30 to 1.00 and you, sorry, p.m. You then basically come down here, you can pick a pen, eraser, a rectangle. Rectangle is what we're going to pick. Pick it for this area here. And basically the idea is that two of 221 blocks are selected. And the concept is you're looking for motion within that zone. So I'll click generate report, and in theory, it going through searching the video on this day, this times, looking for motion in that area, all the recorded video. Now, I'm going to pause it for a second just in case it does find something. Oh, I don't even need to pause it. There it found something, um, and there it is popping in. <clears throat> so I'm going to cancel this query. I don't need to do it because something came up. So I can just come here and you can see this one's starting at 1250, 1252. Just double click that and you'll see. I hit E, expand it. There it is. All right? There's my son pushing me on a cart. How embarrassing. A lot of things you do with your son. So that's the whole thing. You come here, you can see that same video from before. So, and again, if you really wanted to, you could zoom in here. Again, the difference is I can right click, right click, right click, and drag. Okay, so I'm right clicking, and that's just putting in the marker in that spot. Right click and drag makes me the whole window. Then I can come back here and drag with a right mouse like that. Move my playhead like that. So playhead is moving like this, so I can see where, you know, mm -hmm, yeah, say right here, right here. There you go, something like that. Then I can click export, and bang, there's exporting of 25 seconds. I'm not gonna do it because I already showed you how to do that. <clears throat> so that's how you export with motion. Um, that actually wasn't supposed to work, but I guess someone updated the firmware, and we're working now. Um, that is about it for motion, archives, and monitoring, how to export your video and save it off locally.